Hey, you're doing great. The emoji mashup bots. Sun plus extremely angry. I have no idea what emotion this is conveying, but I feel it in my soul. That's called the customer service smile. You will burn as I have burned. Have a nice day. Roommate's making fun of me because I tried to pick up my cat. She went slack, so I couldn't, and I scolded. You turned back into a solid right this instant. If you date me, my sleep paralysis demon becomes our sleep paralysis demon. If we break up, who gets the sleep paralysis demon? Well, we battle for custody, obviously. <laughs> she took the sleep paralysis demon in the divorce. Anyway, let's be real here. Humans weren't meant for long-term space travel. They need food and heat and oxygen, and they die in only like a hundred years or so. Which isn't long enough to travel between stars even at light speed. The future of interstellar exploration is going to rest on the shoulders of ghosts, vampires, and skeletons. Are you ready for the intergalactic skeleton war? Oh, time to get spoopy in space! I had the sudden and shocking realization this morning that some people have never heard the Oh, where's my hairbrush song? And don't automatically sing it in their heads when they're looking for something. Why? Why is there a cucumber in the shower? Because he took a shower and now needs to find his hairbrush. Obviously. God, pleb. Anti-piracy ads in the 2000s. You wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal shit. You're a rule-following little bitch. And if you don't pay to watch this movie, your whole family will die and you'll go to jail for life. You would never break a law. Me, AJ and a half, watching this shit on a big old TV on wheels that only gets wheeled out twice a year as a treat in class. Yeah, I fucking would, bitch. My distant memories now whenever I pirate a movie online. You wouldn't steal a- Me already clicking the download button. Guess you were wrong, bitch! Oh, if only they had made a Lord of the Rings movie without the blatant racism. Would have been a much, much shorter movie. This fucking picture. Kowalski, analysis! Yo, your credit fucking sucks, dude. Since all kinds of vintage older things have been making comebacks, can tech companies bring back colorful clear plastic that shows the inside? Oh, that would be so sexy. Mmm, sexy. Fuck rose gold, I want to see the guts. 60% of my humor is zooming in really close on a picture of someone's face. But why would, why would anybody want to do that as comedy? Concept. A cartoon series where all the foreshadowing of the various characters' tragic secrets is concealed as plausibly deniable animation and writing errors. The protagonist's eye color changes from episode to episode. The sidekick casually mentions three slightly different names for the town they grew up in over the course of the first season, and there's a recurring guest character who's a cyborg. But in some episodes, the robot arm is on the left, and in others, it's on the right. All these eventually turn out to be critical plot details. Oh. Oh, I love it. Behold, flying cloud snob. Yes, snob has gained the power of flight, but more importantly, snob is now fluffy. Pet me, pet me, you fool. 